Hello friends, Misha here. Welcome to another Viewer's Dream Town Tour. Today we are in the sleepy town of Crescent. Uh, this town is designed by Ariel. She has a husband who is currently deployed uh, with the military and she ended up turning back uh, to Animal Crossing to keep her distracted, which I completely understand. That is, uh, Animal Crossing is such a nice escape. Oh my goodness, I just saw the, the plaza. I'm loving this already. Oh, it looks so magical. Um, sorry, I'm reading through the description here. So Crescent is set in mid-April at 11 p.m., which is her favorite hourly music. It's a slightly overgrown town filled with moon-reflecting flowers and dirt paths. Um, we've got outfits, outfits to the right of the plaza. So let's plop those on. Oh, and the outfits are in the fins. That's so perfect. Oh, and I see the the flag back there is uh, Trico from The Last Guardian. I haven't played that game, but I have watched a couple people play parts of it, and it looks so good. It is definitely something, definitely something on my list to play. Oh, I love this already. Okay. Um, so yeah, I think let's go north. It looks like there's the most to, to see and do up north. Let's see. Yeah, that's the mayor's house, and that's the first first description that we get here. So let's let's go up there. But I love that she described the, the white flowers as moon-reflecting flowers. Oh, this is so nice already. Okay, sorry. I've said that like five times already now. <laughs> Um, but yeah, there's that flag. If you don't know, uh, Trico is like a bird dog type creature um, in the video game The Last Guardian. So that's what that flag is based off of. And here is the mayor's house. Ooh, I like all the Zen themed stuff. Let's see if this is the mayor. Yes, this is. Just focus on the town. Oh dear, what I. What else would I focus on? Is there something else going on here? Um, Ariel is the mayor based off me currently doing anything and every- Oh, okay, she's saying that to herself. Doing anything and everything to not think about how much she misses her husband, to how much time and effort she's been putting into the town improvement, organizing events for its villagers. Aw, she was elected mayor. She's converted her home into a community center filled with public facilities for the town, um, except for the attic where she lives. Aw, oh, that's so precious. So here is the front of the community center. It looks like a nice library. Oh, I love how uh, the like reception desk area is set up here. Oh, and it looks like this right side over here is um, a hospital or a doctor's office. Oh, and the left side is a gym. Oh my goodness. This is so detailed. I love it. And then, oh, what's back here? Is there a sign? Oh, I think it might be the bank back here, possibly. It's got a bell bag. Let's see. It is a bank. Oh, I love this. This looks so nice. I love the rug right here. The little chairs and tables over here. It looks so, so simple, but so detailed. Oh man, look at all that money. All that money. I love it. I mean, I'm excited to see the other rooms too. And I love the way that the signs, the signs look hanging here. I love that you can customize those to make them whatever you want. And the, the item, or the items, the, uh, the icons on them are really simple, but really nice. Ah, oh, so here is the gym. Oh, and that's cool. It's set up like, uh, this right here is like a mirror. Which, oh, no, never mind, don't, don't look at it, that breaks, breaks the immersion. Um, <laughs> so the, the glass is set up to be a mirror, like most gems, most gems have, have a big mirror. Oh, that's really, really cool, I love that. So creative. Yeah, just don't, don't look at the mirror part whenever you interact with things over here. I promise everything's fine. Oh, I didn't even know you could lay down on this. Yeah, that's me, just laying down on the... I don't even know what this is is called. It's not called a weight machine. I, shows how much I know about the gym. Um, is this the crunch machine? It kind of looks like a crunch machine, but not really. It doesn't look like it moves in the way that the crunch machine moves. I've recently started going to the gym, if you can't tell. 
Um, I know what about two of the machines do. Uh, I'm getting there. We're making progress. I use the elliptical and uh, the cycling machine and the crunch machine. And that's, that's, I don't even know if it's called the crunch machine. It's probably not, honestly. Anyways, let's go over here where I still probably don't have anything to, anything smart to say. <laughs> So this is the hospital slash doctor's office, medical facility. Oh, and I love it. Oh, I love that it has the giraffe ruler to show that it's like the... Maybe like the, the pediatric corner back here, the kid's corner. Oh, and the dentist section over here. Man, she's got everything. Can you imagine like a mayor's house having... All this stuff, all these different facil facilities. Isabel could never. She could never. Actually, Isabel could, but she just doesn't. <laughs> I'm curious, what's in the basement? <gasps> oh, the basement is a movie theater for the town. <laughs> I love this. Um, all the snacks and stuff back here, and then all the seats. <sighs> Amazing. Uh, Amazing. Okay, so- oh no, we still have to go see the attic, which is where the mayor lives. Last thing. At least she has one room for herself. Gotta do something. Something for herself. Oh, and it's a little studio apartment. Got the laundry corner. Oh, a vanity. Oh yeah, you can't sit down. Some chairs you can't sit down on from the side. Um, oh, I love the colors up here. It's so clean and bright. I love the white brick as well. Oh, I love the light, the, the blue series, like customized to that light blue. Oh, I just want to stand right here. This has like the perfect balance of like colors and items, plants, and food. I love this, like, wraparound, um, I don't know, couch, bench, seating area. Oh, and there's a little kitty on the, uh, on the pillow there. Oh, Ariel, this is so nice. I love the flooring, too. I like that flooring with that white brick wallpaper. It looks, like, really clean and bright, but, like, not perfect, you know? into it. Okay, so we got more of town to explore. Here's the cafe up above the mayor's house. And in the present is a coffee. And I forgot to mention, I always try to, but I'm sure you guys know the drill by now. The dream address is in the description box below if you guys want to visit. Visit along with me. Oh, and here is our second character. This is Zeta. Oh, my galaxies, you're cute. Oh, shucks. Oh, shucks. I love your green hair. Let's see. So Zeta and Cade are based off the main characters. Oh, from a webtoon comic called Down to Earth. It's super cute, wholesome, and funny. Highly recommend it. Zeta is an alien trying to learn how to fit into Earth. She lives above the town's bakery. Cade was the one who found her and continues to teach her um, to help her to fit in. Um, so she can stay. Cade lives above the shopping center. Um, so Cade is up there and Zeta is right here. And then there's one other resident on the other side of town, but we will read her description, uh, soon. Um, 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 um. Well, let's go, go pop down here to see, see what's down here before we go into this house. Just some dirt paths leading up to the villager houses. I love how the dirt paths are laid out. I love how the flowers are laid out, all spread out. Definitely feels like slightly overgrown. I don't know, but still really clean and organized. Okay, let's see what's this present outside of of Kata's house. Sorry if I'm not saying the name correctly, by the way. Ooh, it's a mint double scoop. We'll keep that in there. Love that you can just keep an ice cream in your pockets. <laughs> Oh, so Kata has a, uh, a, a bakery? Oh, I love everything. 
I love the designs on this, like it's a big uh, shelf of coffee mugs. Oh, and I love these desserts sitting out here. Oh my goodness, this one on the left looks so chocolatey and delicious. I don't think I've ever seen it customized exactly like that. Oh, this is making me want sweets. <laughs> and I've already had breakfast. I don't need to be hungry. Oh, and over here is the kitchen where they make the sweets and all the baked goods. I, I'm in love with these uh, brick like countertop, yeah, brick countertops from the Happy Home Designer. Well, from the Welcome Amiibo update, from Happy Home Designer and then from the Welcome Amiibo update. Makes cafes and kitchens look 10 times better, in my opinion. Like when you're going for that sort of theme, when you're going for that like rustic theme. Oh, and this is where Kata lives. Oh, and I love the, the SS Dolphin from Pikmin over here. A little spaceship. Oh, this is a perfect- I love the combination of, like, the mermaid stuff and some of the, I think, Kiki and Lala stuff. Oh, and this, like, celestial galaxy design on the lamp there is so nice. And I love that outfit on the wall with Saturn on it. So pastel and kawaii, but so, so celestial. Oh, that design is on this closet as well. This is so nice. I really, really love it. Mm. This town's making me so happy. All right, we still have a lot of town to explore. Oh, I haven't even looked at the uh, the villagers yet. So the villagers are Flurry, Molly, Vivian, Fuchsia, Maple. Zell, Marshall, Fang, and Bo. Oh, and here's the message board by the police station. And up here's retail. Oh, I love the, the street light right beside retail. That's a nice touch. And then this must be Cade's house. And I think I saw Cade. Aha, walking around up here. Hello, excuse me. Pardon me. Nope. Didn't want to sip my coffee. Want to talk to this, this resident. Zeta's odd. You don't say. Let's see what's in Kate's house. How they're trying to get Zeta to fit in with the town. Ooh, there's a store. Really nice looking clothing store. Very Gracie-esque. But even better because there are like changing rooms and like more items for sale at one time. <laughs> Can you imagine? <gasps> oh my goodness, how cute. A video game store. And it also sells. Oh boy. Run away! Does it ever actually explode? No. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I didn't know if it did some sort of, like, explosion animation. Aw, uh, arcade. Well, I guess it wouldn't really be an arcade if it only has, like, one game machine that you can actually play. Maybe this is, like, a little, little demo machine where you can test out games. Oh, I love this, regardless. If you guys want to see your town in a video like this, as always, please comment your Dreamtown info. Uh, in the comments below. I'm gonna have to- ooh, my 3DS battery's getting a little low. I'm gonna have to skip over a couple of rooms, but please visit this town. Visit the rooms that I didn't get to. Um, oh, and this is Cade's apartment up here. It's so modern. I love the dark blue stuff. Oh, it's a contrast from the- the mayor's, um, apartment. Complimentary, but contrast at the same time. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see your video, or your video, uh, your town in a video like this, comment your town info in the comments below. I need your town name, your dream address, a brief description of your town, uh, including the season that it's set in, if you don't mind, and any social media you would like me to credit, and any specific rooms or houses <gasps> you want me to be sure to visit. Oh, I'm so glad I came down here. It's a pet store. Oh, I love it. And then there's little puppies behind the windows. 
Oh, I've never seen a pet store in Animal Crossing. I don't think. At least not one set up like this. Oh, and then fishies over here. Oh, I love this so much. Yeah, please comment your Dreamtown info for me. Even if you've co uh, commented it before, I only pull Dreamtown suggestions uh, from the comment section of my most recent Dreamtown video. So even if I haven't, or even if you've submitted yours already but I haven't visited, just copy and paste, submit it again. I do one of these videos every Tuesday or most Tuesdays. Sometimes I, I do slack and, and miss a Tuesday, but I am trying my darnest. I'm doing a really big charity fundraiser on my Twitch channel. Uh, this coming month of March. If you guys don't know, I do stream on Twitch full-time. That is my job. Um, I stream there five days a week, so if you ever want to come and hang out, um, I'm there five days a week, Fridays through Tuesdays, and we're doing a really big charity fundraiser for March uh, for the American Refugee Committee, and it's all Nintendo themed, so when you donate, you get to choose what uh, Nintendo series your points go to, Animal Crossing, Pokemon, Zelda, or... Um, Mario. Sorry, I forgot <laughs> what the other one was. And whatever series wins, obviously it de determines what the best Nintendo series of all time is, clearly. And then it also determines what our... the next game that we play on stream is going to be, our new subscriber alert whenever someone subscribes to my Twitch channel, and our new donation alert will all be themed off out, after whatever series wins. And all the uh, proceeds go to charity. And I'm donating half of my subscriber revenue uh, to the charity as well for March. So uh, a lot of my focus for March is going to be going to that, but I will still try to make at least a couple Dreamtown videos as well. But the link to my Twitch is in the description box below. It is Misha Crossing, just like it is here on YouTube. If you ever want to come, come hang out. Um, anyways, uh, <laughs> now that I've plugged that, uh, Calliope is Crescent's resident witch. She lives out near the waterfall on the outskirts of town. She's not home... Oh, if she's not home mixing potions, telling fortunes, or giving palm readings, she can be found gathering ingredients or at the fire clearing in the forest practicing rituals, which we still need to go north uh, of her house and see a few more things in town. But let's go in the house first. Oh, and here she is. Our little witch. Oh, and I love her witchy outfit. I love the Halloween colors. Beautiful night to be a witch, isn't it? Isn't that every night? Isn't it? Oh, I love the little witch's cavern. Not cavern. Uh, cottage. <laughs> witch's cottage look to everything. Of all the plants, all the magical touches, the fire, the woods, ah, uh, all the books. So good. Oh, can you not interact with this book at all? For some reason, I thought that you could. I think maybe I go through that every single time I interact with it, thinking that I can, but I actually can't. Okay, let's see what's up here. Oh, and up here is her bedroom. It looks like, oh, it's so big. I love kind of the green glow to everything. Mm -hmm. This also looks like really clean, but just like touches of messiness and touches of, of witchy, magical little bits. Oh, I love it. Love the green series. Green series is one of my favorites, especially customized to that, that dark green. You have a great house here, Calliope. I'm sorry I can't visit all the rooms. My 3DS battery is getting so low. We just have time. Um... Let's go, let's let's run, let's boogie. Let's run up here and see. Um, oh, there's the stone tablet. I love things going on those stone plazas that aren't meant to be there. Oh, and the fire clearing with the fire pits, the Triforce stumps, where many, many a ritual occur. Oh, I love it. A couple of pawns here. You guys will have to tell me what's in those presents that I didn't get to open. Oh, and of course, a little mushroom fairy circle, too. Oh, cool. Okay, let's go over this bridge. See what's down here. I, I'm in love with these dirt paths. They are done so, so well. Oh, this is so cool. I love utilizing, like, 
a ton of space like this with the three three lamp posts. There's a couple villager houses on the campsites. Oh, what a perfect campsite area. Oh, this is so nice. I love the half cut bamboo as well. Or like the cut bamboo when it's like, you know, still brown. And I love all the, there's like three of these benches around town. I love how that ties, ties things together. And over here, which we haven't seen yet, um, didn't pop over onto this dock here. Perfect little area to look out onto the water. Oh, this town is so relaxing. This has been so, so nice. Thank you so much for submitting it, and thank you guys for watching. I will be back next Tuesday, hopefully, <laughs> with another Dreamtown video. Please comment your Dreamtowns in the comments below, and show this creator some love. Let them know what you liked about their town, and if you visited yourself. Uh, dream address, like I said, is in the description box. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Be kind to one another, and don't forget to be awesome. Bye.